In this video, we're going to talk about ASDF, which is a version manager for managing software you install on your computer. ASDF is a CLI tool, and it handles installing multiple versions of software packages and allowing you to switch between those versions at runtime. We use ASDF because it's a simple CLI tool, and it's extensible via plugins, so it supports a lot of different programs that you can install simply through a central plugin repository. More information can be found at asdf-vm.com. In this video, we're going to install ASDF in a bash environment. We're going to install several plugins using the ASDF plugin architecture and tool, and then we will use those plugins to install three pieces of software, Go, Python, and Terraform. Then we'll cover how you specify global versions for each of the tools installed. As I mentioned, more information can be found at asdf-vm.com. Clicking Get Started will take you to a page to give you installation instructions. Installing ASDF is very straightforward. You select your operating system and your installation method from their documentation. We'll click Copy to Keyboard. For Aptitude Install, we'll paste it in, and as we can see, Git and Curl are already installed and at the latest version. The next step is to install ASDF itself. The easiest way is with a simple git checkout. We will copy this command to the clipboard and run it. At this point, ASDF has been cloned to our home directory in a directory called .asdf. The next step is to source ASDF's contents and add them to our shell. We are going to add this line to our bash RC file. I'll simply open my bash RC file, and then I will add the lines dot home slash dot ASDF slash ASDF dot SH. This will source the ASDF source code and export it into our bash environment. Once we've done that step, the next thing we need to do is update our running shell by resourcing our bash RC, and now we should have access to the ASDF command. Typing ASDF should spit all of the help information out on the screen here and you can explore that. I'm going to go ahead and clear my terminal output and we'll move on to the next step. To get the most out of ASDF you'll want to install the bash completions. We'll copy this line and add it to our bash profile as well. Once again we resource that file to update our running shell. Now we should be able to type ASDF and tab tab twice to see all of the various commands that ASDF supports. To move on to something more useful with ASDF, we need to install some software. Various software packages are installed using plugins. To see what plugins are available, run ASDF plugin hyphen list hyphen all. As you can see, there's quite a bit of output here. There are several plugins supported by ASDF out of the box. The first piece of software we're going to install with ASDF is Go. I'm going to clear my terminal here, and we are going to first add the plugin. So once again, remember, we have software and we have plugins that are providers for that software. So we're going to run ASDF plugin add Golang. To confirm that that plugin was added, we can run ASDF plugin list. We can see Golang has been added. We'll go ahead and add support for Python. And we can confirm Python's installed and our last piece of software, Terraform. Once again, we can list and we see we have Golang, Python, and Terraform plugins available. At this point, Terraform has not been installed. All we've installed is a plugin that tells ASDF how to install Terraform. The next step is to invoke the ASDF Terraform plugin to have it actually install Terraform for us. At this point, we can say ASDF list all Terraform to see all versions of Terraform that are available. We'll go ahead and install version 0.12.29 ASDF install Terraform 0.12.29. At this point, Terraform has been installed. We can attempt to call Terraform. 
You'll notice there is no version set for command Terraform. We have to tell ASDF that we want to use what version of Terraform in what context. There are a few contexts available. We can have ASDF just for this session, just in this bash shell, use Terraform 0.12.29. We would say ASDF shell Terraform 0.12.29. At this point, I can run Terraform version and see that I am using Terraform 12.29. However, if I open a new terminal and I run Terraform version, once again, there is no version specified. We can use ASDF to specify a global version of Terraform and set that to version 0.12.29. Now, if we open a new shell and we run... Oops, Terraform version, we see we get 0, 12, 29. Because that's the global version, it will always be available. So you have the option as well to set local versions, and those are specified in a special file in your local directory. We'll move on now and install two more pieces of software. So we'll go ahead and install Go. We'll use ASDF list all Golang to find all versions of Go that are available for install. We'll go ahead and install Golang 1.14.7. Once again, that's ASDF install Golang 1.14.7. The last piece of software we're going to install is Python. We'll use ASDF install Python 3.8.1. Remember, for each software package we've installed, we still have to tell ASDF to use that as the global, local, or shell version. I'm going to set the versions I've installed to global for each piece of software. So I will do ASDF global Python 3.8.1, as well as ASDF global Golang 1.14.7. At this point, Python dash capital V shows 3.8.1 and Go version shows Go version 1.14.7 and my development environment is ready to go.